we are our time of month. And today we're gonna to be sharing with you, it's not at all beer related, ah, minus our favorite face masks. We have quite a lot of skincare products in both of our collections. Yes. Masks make up a part of that. And when we have filmed our last two, I think, skincare videos, we've talked so much about the other stuff in our routines that we've had to put masks on the back burner because there's just absolutely no time for it. Yes. Yeah. So today we're gonna share them. And I have, a, I have, I mean, what is this? That's like 10. Then, two, four, six, eight, nine. I have nine other face masks that I'm not even gonna talk about because I don't love them. And I only really wanna talk about the ones that I love. Um, Danielle's got a couple more that she loves than I do. And actually there's one that I am totally out of that I'll That's talk right. about, but I cannot show you. I'm a bit more of a masker than Caitlin. Yes, I honestly haven't done a mask in a while. Really? Yeah. I do at least two a week. Really? Yeah. I love it so much. It just is, it's one of my favorite parts of skincare. It's one more step that I just can't manage. But part of it is also like when I come home, I do not go upstairs and take my makeup off and change clothes. I do. I stay full hair, makeup, and work clothes pretty much until I go to bed. What? Uh-huh. How? Serial killer. Tish always thinks it's so weird because Tish comes home immediately and she, she'll like shower, wrap her hair, and then put comfy clothes on. I'm Tish. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't stand it. I don't want this on my face any longer than it has to be. No. And I don't want this on my titties any longer than it has to be. Well, I don't like the feeling of my breasts laying on my chest, which is what happens if I take my bra off, so bra stays on. The only thing for me is like, I don't wanna keep my shoes on, but I often don't wear socks with my work shoes, so then I wanna put socks on. That's the only thing that will really precipitate me changing, is that I want, it, my, I want my feet to be warm, but I'm not gonna like go upstairs and not change. Wow, I'm learning so much. Yeah, so I, so that's the thing is like, like, if I'm going upstairs, I'm going to bed. I don't have time for a mask. First mask, coming right out of the gate with one of my faves. Actually, they're all my favorites. That's why I picked them. <laughs> you were just like Martin Short right there for some reason. Oh, well, I'll take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. Fountain of Truth Beauty Honey Glow Mask. This is Juliana Rancic's skincare line, which I find very overpriced. How I, oh, I'm almost done. I was sent this by Influencer a little over a year ago, and it's a delightful honey mask. It's very thick and sticky in texture. You just need a little bit. I scoop it out, I rub it between my hands just a little bit, my fingers, and then I smooth it all over my face. I use this all over my face, avoiding my eye area. And you rub it into the skin, so you can see it's kind of brown honey colored now. You rub it into the skin until it turns uh, like a milky white color, and then you just let it sit. I don't know how long it says to sit. 15 to 30 minutes. I do like an hour. <laughs> it's warming. Yeah, we take masks off when we feel when like it. When, we, when our faces are about to fall off. It is warming because of the honey. Honey is also good for antibacterial uh, properties, and it's moisturizing and hydrating. I feel like this is a little bit of a more clarifying mask than you would assume because it does feel so hydrating. It says that it's a glow mask. I don't really notice any extra glow to my skin, but I do feel like my skin feels so soft afterwards. It has a really pleasant honey scent. It's great for my sensitive skin. I think it's about $60. I would repurchase it because I do like it so much and I've had it for a long time. I use it maybe once or twice a month. So it's funny that she mentioned that because we've talked about this before and I have the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. This Let's compared ingredients. Yes, this is exactly the same as Danielle's, but it is cheaper. Yes. Or or per per ounce it's cheaper. So maybe I'll buy this when I'm out of this. Because yeah. this was gifted to me. So what's funny, so it, yeah, so this is slightly, because this is 4.1 ounces. Oh, this is only 1.7. Yeah, which is, <gasps> yeah. Wow. 4.1 ounces, and I think this is a similar price to that. It might be slightly more expensive, but it is way more product. And what's funny to me about that is that this packaging is so much more luxe. Yes, Like I that agree. could be L'Oreal. Yeah, it does look like L'Oreal, actually. Um. And like this is a glass, a really nice glass jar. This is a cute little wood lid, but mm -hmm. it's got a hidden magnet underneath because it comes with a little metal spatula, mm -hmm. which I don't have apparently. Um, and it sticks to the top, which is really nice. That's you nice. can't lose it, except somehow I did. Um, but yeah, this really is the exact same thing. Does it's, it get milky? Yeah. 
There it goes. Um, it's a honey texture. I couldn't tell you what it smells like. It's a weird smell. It's got kind of a honey slash Vaseline texture. Okay. You rub it on, it turns white. It is warming. Yeah. I would not, I agree with like the lack of a glow thing, but I do think it, my face feels very clean. I do mm -hmm. think that that warming and it's almost, it almost has like kind of a menthol -y thing. I do feel like things are getting sucked out. Yeah, it's not a pain, it's not painful. No, but I do think, I wouldn't consider this a moisturizing mask. Okay. I would consider this more of a, yeah, clearing. Yeah. Which is how you referred to it. Mm -hmm. So this is it nourishes and revitalizes the skin for glowing smooth complexion, an intensely moisturizing combination of honey, propolis, and amino acid rich in royal jelly. That's what it is, it's royal, royal jelly. jelly. It enhances the skin for a younger appearance. I would repurchase it, but Maybe I wouldn't. I'll try that next. It wouldn't be like, the first thing I would repurchase. Yes, I get it. I have a Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Mask. This is a 15 minute facial. This was sent to us by Pixie, so thank you so much. It says here it's pore clearing and glow revealing. Again, pore clearing, yes, because it is like a charcoal dark colored mask. Glow revealing, I don't really, you know what? I don't ever really see glow unless I put a hydrating facial oil on my face. I don't really see glow highlight unless I put a yeah a glowing primer. Right. Uh, it does it. It has aloe vera, ginseng, and mineral rich mud to combine to create the ultimate deep pore cleansing and skin energizing mask. It's great for congested skin. I use this not all over my face. I only focus this with like a little um, glam glow facial mud brush on the areas of my face. Yes, I use that. And I just will essentially spot treat. So I will multi-mask, and that means I'll take a clarifying mask like this on the areas where I definitely can notice some congestion, and then I'll put something more hydrating on the rest of my face that doesn't need to have, like to me this is a drying mask. It's, it's extracting those impurities, that's what it's supposed to do. I do really like it. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I've had this for a while. And although this was sent to us, I would repurchase it. Yeah. And again, it's nice. Much like Danielle, my actual favorite mask of of all time mm -hmm. is, and I don't have it here because I'm all out. It is, it was in an empties, and I haven't repurchased it yet, but I will. It is the Clinique City Block. Thank you, City Block Charcoal Mask. Um, charcoal exfoliating mask, I think. It's in a blue tube, similar packaging. Yeah, a little bit Similar pack packaging to this, but it's it's giant. It's a, yeah, it's a very good size. It's a reasonable price for, I think, most people. And it is a charcoal yeah. mask, so you put it on, it goes on dark, not quite black, but a very dark gray. And then as it dries, it goes to like a, a very light gray. And once it's dry, then you rinse it off and it has tiny exfoliating beads in it but not the beads that hurt the earth. I don't know what kind of beads they are, but. Um, and so not only is it helping to um, encourage your clogged pores to loosen and come out, but also then once you exfoliate, you're taking that top layer mm -hmm. of dead skin off. And I will say that one to me gives me a little bit of like a baby face glow. I love that one. Like, I would like to purchase it actually. Yeah, it's not like a goddess glow. It's yeah. literally like fresh skin because right. you're doing the physical exfoliating and getting all of that, you know, anything that's on the top gone. It erases the dullness. Yeah, and it is nice because then you go in, a lot of the time with that one, I will double mask mm -hmm. and I'll do that first. And then on top, I will do a moisturizing mask that's because right. my skin is opened up and ready and just will. <laughs> Drink, drink it in up. all the moisture. Or drink it up. But yeah, so I think that one is like t maybe $27. I think you're right. From, uh, I usually get it at Ulta, but it's a Clinique mask, so a lot of the time they run sales and you mm -hmm. can easily purchase it and you might not get money off, but you might get like a bonus kit, which is kind of nice. Yeah, like a free little gift. Mm -hmm. My other purifying mask is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. If you've been following us for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about this before. This is one of the only masks that I've completely used up, it's five ounces, and I've repurchased another. Mm -hmm. That says a lot about something. It is a very basic clay mask that's perfect for, like Caitlin said, kind of encouraging those pores to loosen whatever it is that's clogging them. It doesn't cause redness on my face. I feel like a lot of purifying masks make my face really red or itchy or it burns. Mm -hmm. This doesn't do any of that stuff. It's very gentle but effective and I think the price point on this mask is really great because you get so much and I think it's under $30. 
It doesn't have any weird ingredients that I know of. I'm not a scientist, but I mean, obviously I love it because I've purchased it multiple times. I also purchased a Kiehl's mask kit mm. that had a travel size of this in it, and I do take that with me sometimes when I'm traveling. Cannot recommend it enough. I let it sit on until it's dry, and when I start talking, I can see the crumbles falling off. <laughs> You're like, I just wanna make my house dirty? Yes, exactly. <gasps> This matches your fucking outfit. This next product is more than all of these combined. <sighs> this one, I 100% was influenced by their advertising and marketing. I didn't really do the great job. I didn't really do the research on it. I didn't really care. I just wanted it for no particular reason, and I fully anticipated that it was going to be a bunch of hokey pokey bull crap. You wanted it. You bought it. You like it. Yeah, I wanted it. I got it. Okay, I bought it, Ariana. Um, these hair dudes are very hairy on. Very hairy on. Hairy on. So I remember being on Instagram stories and talking about like, okay, I'm trying this new mask out. Oh my God, it's got beauty berry and dual vitamin C. Such a bunch of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Beauty berry. I don't think that's a real thing, but whatever. So I'm I, Googling. I remember I put it on my face, fully prepared to hate it. Also, this one comes with a real cute little gold spatula. I don't know where that went. Um, and it's this beautiful, I mean, it's oh my this God. beautiful color. Stop! Okay, that's why it looks like this. Yes, a beauty berry is a, is this color berry bush plant. Actually, it's more this, it's like darker. But, uh, yeah. It also, I think it also has like sea buckthorn in it or yeah. something. That one I remember reading and I Can thought, I smell it? what the fuck is all that shit? You get a, you don't get a lot of product, I will say. I bet you it's not more than like, I don't think it's more than two ounces. I think it's probably like 1.7 ounces. That feels luxurious. So is this a hydrating mask? So they call it a radiance mask. It smells like a spa. But I think it's, it's for me, it's like a very relaxing texture. It never mm -hmm. completely dries, but it does get less wet. So it's not as sticky, but it is one of those ones that like, you're not gonna sleep in it cause you're gonna get it fucking everywhere. And you have to pull your hair back. Cause it's gonna like, if even a little like wisp comes across, it's gonna be stuck in there. And you're gonna be pissed. Cause then you have to wash your hair and you didn't anticipate having to wash your hair. No. Um, she let me use it once and I liked it. I really fucking like it. I hate that I like, yeah, it's 1.7 ounces. I knew it. Made in Japan, so obviously it's good. Is it like 80 bucks? And I think I might have paid full price for it. I don't I even think you did. I don't even think I bought it on sale. So the Violet C Radiance Mask for 1.7 ounces is $68. Yikers. Yeah, that's rough. So I would not repurchase again full price just because it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. I would wait until I got it 20% off at the bi yearly, biannual. No, yeah. biannual is every other year. Bi yearly? No, biannual is twice a year. Is it? Yeah, twice okay. annual. Biannually. Yeah. The biannual sales, I would wait until I can get 15 to 20% off of it and I would purchase it again. But until then, I'm sure I could, I could just apply a really heavy duty moisturizer and let it sit there. That's true. You're right. But this to me is a whole experience. You're right. That if I'm gonna like treat myself to a mask, it feels real good. I could see having like a whole self care day where I sit in the bathtub, I'm reading a book, I've uh -huh. lit my candles, I'm putting something luxurious like this on. Do you have Olaplex in your hair? I have Olaplex in my hair. I have a glass of wine at the ready. Million dollar beauty right there. I wanna have a day like that. I also wanna do the foot things. Me too! I haven't used mine yet. We should do a whole beauty day. Okay. <gasps> can we please? Yeah, can we film it somehow? And make it worth content? Yes. Just It'd vlog be like a whole vloggy. beauty day. Vloggy. Yeah! Oh, great idea. Mm -hmm. I would love that. A whole pamper day. We can body scrub and then tan each other and you can get my back. Perfect! See, the first time I- I can't wait! First time my back will be self-tanned for my whole Since life. Since spray tans. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. As far as my hydrating masks go, I'm on the hunt for a new one. I like this one a lot, but I'm almost finished with it, and I I just want to try other things. I like it perfectly fine. It's the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask to, squen to Quench Skin's Thirst. I don't wear this overnight. I think that it has a really nice mango smell. It is very lotion-like. Like, that's just like a thick... No. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells mango-y. And it feels really great on the skin. I put on Actually, a very just wear this like lotion? generous, thick layer all over my face. I let it sit for hours. 
This is one that you could sleep in if you wanted. I just tend not to do that because I want to put my other skincare on, like my oils and my serums and stuff. Do they tell you to rinse it off in the morning or do they just tell you to let it go? Because for me, if you, they tell you to sleep in it overnight and then don't rinse it off, bitch, that is an overpriced lotion. It says twice a week or as desired, gently massage onto clean skin at bedtime, tissue off any excess. That's a lotion. Right. So I just let this sit on my skin for hours and I do feel like it does a really nice job of hydrating my skin, especially in the colder, drier months. I will sometimes come home like if I've had a cold and I've blown my nose a lot and, uh, and I have like that flaky skin, I will just gob this on my face. Tissue rash? Yes, tissue rash. And I'll just sit around and read, cook dinner, watch TV, do whatever, and then right before bed I'll rinse it off and my skin just feels like, thank you, hydrated and very soft like a mm. baby. And then I go in with my other skincare. I did find mine at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It was on clearance, that's why there's this sticker here. But you get a really generous amount, 3.4 ounces. I've had this for quite a while and I'm not even finished with it, so. That's that. Did I say origins? Yeah. Origins. Yep. So the next thing I have is not technically a mask, but I do use it either in tandem with masks or in the same kind of use. So they are the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm hydrogel eye patches. We're both idiots. We're both idiots. Also, we should have just bought it once and just split them. So they are literally these like little comma shaped eye patches. I'm sure you've seen these. I'm sure you've probably bought the knockoffs to TJ Maxx and they worked just as well, aka they did nothing. I do think it's an experience. I don't really know what it actually does. But I will say my favorite time to put these on is when I wake up and I'm hungover and I'm coming over to film. I will whack oh. these on. She comes over like a diva. And I will and I just put my sunglasses on and I will come. <laughs> like I've pumped gas with these on. Yes. I've like stopped at stores and bought stuff with them on. No shit. Um, they're not that noticeable, like. So it says leave it on for 10 minutes, but we leave it on until they're dried up. I leave it on until it's essentially shriveled, like a raisin. It's like dried out and shriveled like a fall leaf and then it just flakes off my face. <laughs> so these are expensive. I think they are upwards of $70. Dollars. Dollars. you're right. Idiots, I, I we're think... actual idiots. But I really like them. I... It's an experience, again with the experience bullshit. But I do think that, first of all, they sell cucumber ones, which are cheaper. And I've had those and I like them. They're like half the price and they do the same fucking thing. Yes, $75. <gasps> We're not doing it again. No, but, but I would I would buy, I love them. I really, really like them. I enjoy them immensely. They I don't, smell good I will too. say there's 60 patches in here. Is that right? Yeah, yes. 30 pairs. I haven't even used 15, it doesn't look like. I don't think I have either. <sighs> Maybe. Well, no, because that those layers are thin. So I keep mine in the refrigerator and I think that has helped preserve them a little bit longer. Yes. Um, and also it just adds an additional cooling benefit. Yes, but I will say, thing. for me, I notice that when I keep them in the refrigerator, I don't use them, I actually just forget about them. Same. So that's why I don't keep them in the refrigerator. Let's um, put this in as an intention. Like every time that we film, let's just start using them. Okay. Okay. You saw us. So, uh, yeah, so I think I would, I would repurchase a similar product. I would not repurchase this exact product, but I, I have concur. enjoyed them while I have them. I concur. Pixie makes ones that I think are really oh, great. Oh yeah. I like them a lot and they're wetter. Yeah, but I, oh, I will say compared to the price of some of the other ones you can buy mm -hmm. per pair, this is cheap. Please look at him. Oh, I am in to it. He looks like he's limping. He's limping for sure. This whole look though with you coming up the stairs. Can you do a little OOTD? Oh my God, look at all the salt on his face, Caitlin. Wow, you lick really, it. Well, I dare you to lick it. You see all this? What happened? Cause that was like the salt. Yeah, that's like right there. Some of salt, bro. Your legs look nice. No, because when you when you do this, it probably pulls your shirt up on this probably. is like right here. Oh, when you were like sitting that. in the car? No, probably running. Yeah. Do you want to do a gear review? Not to I do, but not today. Okay. Okay. Well you look great. Thanks. You do look great. How far did you go? Only ten miles. What? Pardon that brief interruption. Did you need to say anything else about them? That's it. Uh you know, buy under eye patches, don't buy these. 
I do have one more purifying mask, uh -huh. and it is Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This one. <gasps> Get out. So this is the new packaging, I think. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had it. Yeah. It is very similar to how Caitlin described the Clinique City Block Mask. It's a purifying mask, but it's pink instead of yes. gray. You put it on, it does have exfoliating beads, you let it sit, and then when you go to rinse it off with very lukewarm water, you are exfoliating your face very gently, but effectively. I love this so much. This was a bonus at Sephora probably, because yeah. it's very tiny. I think it comes in this size. I would absolutely repurchase this. I would buy this or the Clinique one that Caitlin talked about. In fact, if we checked the ingredients, I bet you they're very similar. So the, the one thing I don't like about this is that it is rose scented. Like I think it is a very similar product to the Clinique one, except it's my, the I Clinique one's not rosy. Rose. That's rose? I think it smells a little medicinal. But it's like there's, ro I don't know, there's rose to it. Let's, oh, I didn't even let's think compare. about it. Does that have ingredients on it? No, of course not. Do you have any others? No? Okay, I have one last product. This is my OG mask. I still love it. I've been using it for probably four years and I still can't get enough of it. It is the WEN 10 p.m. Biocellulose Sheet Mask. It is made from coconuts. So there are sheet masks that are papery. This is a sheet mask that is essentially like a thicker version of this eye gel and wetter. It's thicker and wetter and it sits on your skin. It doesn't fall off like a lot of sheet masks tend to do. It's making contact with all the grooves of your face, which again, a papery sheet mask cannot do. And it is so hydrating and delicious. I have worn this on an airplane. I will put this on similarly to that Tatcha one. Like if I want an experience and I just want to like at home spa experience. I love it so much. I hit the jackpot one time and they sold these at Costco for a really great deal and I'm still working through them. I just, I love it so much. And I think it's a Korean skincare product and you know that they're doing it right. Yeah, if I did a sheet mask, I probably would like that one, but I hate sheet masks. I just she feel does. like my eye holes, mouth hole, they never line up, it slips off my face. It's yeah. just very uncomfortable to me. I feel like I can't relax when I have a sheet mask on. Yes. Unless I was like, like literally just laying there, right. but then I would fall asleep. But I do think that having a biocellulose mask like this, mm -hmm. it's far more comfortable and foolproof, I guess. Like sometimes the eye holes and the mouth holes don't line up, but this, mm -hmm. it just is perfect and I love it. And it comes with a lot of the like serum solution in the pack. So I'll put it on my face and then I'll take whatever is left in here because there's a lot of serum and I will do my neck and my chest and the top of my hands. Like there's enough for all of that. And I love it. I love it so much. I know you do. Yeah, she knows. I've given it to people. I'm you like, used you to be kind obsessed. Of... I know. I try to cut back on it because I like don't see it anywhere anymore. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. Comment down below with your favorite masks right now. We would love to try them out and test them out for you guys. Yeah, I'm getting kind of low on a couple of these. So. I, I am open to some new ones. Are you? I mean, I don't need a new one at all. But we want them. This one's got actual fucking like twigs and berries in it. I don't. Dunzo. Yes. It's just dried up and trash. Let me smell it. So give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell to get notifications every time we post a no new video, which is on Wednesdays and soon days. Yes. The Lord's Day and the Hump Day. <laughs> and podcasts come out on Tuesdays. Did you know we have podcasts? Did ya? Did ya? It's our time of the month on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google, Deezer, coming to iHeartRadio, and Pandora. <laughs> we'll be literally everywhere soon. We are infiltrating every single way that we can get to you. Right. I will say, we're not going to get a Snapchat or a TikTok or a Twitter. We have a Twitter. Yeah! On my mouth. A drugstore. <laughs> This is for your budget, ladies and gentlemen. NYX Professional Makeup Slide On Glide On Stay On Definitely Eternal and Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. Uh -huh. This is in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. I think NYX does some of the best drugstore lip liner. Cannot recommend it enough. I've also paired it with another drugstore product. This is Revlon's Glass Shine Lipstick in the shade 020 Nude Illuminator. It's like a high end. It, you know what this is? This is why I sell Rouge Voluped. That's what it is. Don't say shit like that to me. That's exactly what it is. Because I done bought the YSL Rouge Voluped. I know. But if you don't want to spend the money on it, even the packaging is similar. Like this part is similar. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that's what they did. Mm -hmm. 
It's so good. Everybody's knocking off everybody. It's so good. It's $6.49 at the drugstore. I've already bought two shades and I can see more coming into my collection soon. So thank you, Danielle, for asking. On my mouth is the dupe for this $7 version. I have, I don't know, I bought it in a kit, so I'm not sure how much it would normally be, but I'm gonna guess it's at least $15, probably like 18, right? Yours is pinkier though. I'm yeah, say. but it's, I mean, it's a similar shade. Yeah. It, you could really get a, you could wear it under the same shades that you wear under this one. It's a great lip liner. Yes, it is a great lip liner. It's a little bit of a drier uh, formula, so it's got a little bit of drag when you're applying it but it does stay all day, I think, because mm -hmm. it is dry. Uh, and then I topped it with this Bite Beauty. Oh, do they still sell these? A mousse bouche liquefied lip. A mousse bouche liquefied lip in the shade Eclair. It looks great on you. I have two looks shades. Like shit on me. They have one that's Chutney, which I think they did discontinue. That's the one I wanted to use. Chutney. I didn't bring it. Damn. I brought every other one. Bought 25 lips for you to use, and you, I, the only one that you wanted to use I didn't bring. Whatever. Typical. Yeah. Okay. That's it. We don't have anything else, right? Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're subscribing and sharing. Oh, yeah. Tell all your friends. Tell your coworkers. Tell everybody. Honestly, 2020. We're trying to fucking make it happen. Let's start a GoFundMe for a billboard. <gasps> right on 83. Yes. We're the one, the one by Union. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Done. Okay. See our Venmo account below. <laughs> our Patreon. Yes. Have a great day and we will see you soon. Bye.